Well, Mark, an entertaining tour draw away to Mainhead today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, it was always going to be a tough challenge coming here with such a tight turnaround. Mainhead's good, good home form. The pitch made for a tricky encounter, a lot of bobbles. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was frustrating watch at, at times, but I think for both teams it is. Uh, but what I would say is again the character has come through from the boys. Um, you know we were two two one down at half time. Um, you know a, a lovely free kick from them. You have to take credit. You have to give credit where it's due. That was a, a great free kick. Um, you know wouldn't be out of place in a, in the Premiership the, a strike like that. And then uh, and then the disappointing thing us to concede from a corner. But again. Good, good delivery, but you know we pride ourselves on on being better in them situations. But um, you know we went in two one and we had we had the heel to attack, and I thought we attacked it really well. I think we created a lot of chances. We were on the front foot. You can see we're doing our best to win the game. Um, but like I said, it was always going to be a, a, a tough ask with such a tight turnaround, like energy wise. You, you know, some of our moments just just died through a bit of a lack of quality or a bit, a bit of frustration. But I said, there's a lot of factors which contribute to that. Like I said, the energy levels and and then the state of the pitch. But like I said, no, no, they didn't look for excuses. We kept going and we got we got our equaliser. I'm really I'm really pleased for Harrison Paniatu because I, I know how important that goal just to get him get that to get that first goal for, for on his return and um, we finished the game really strong when, with, with with the substitutions as well. With safety secured last Saturday, of course, it gives you the chance to experiment and try new players out in different positions. Maybe or try new, you know. I think of the likes of Ryan Hall coming in. Alfie Saunders obviously came in for Ox eventually, and Sinclair given the chance to start today. Yeah, definitely. Like obviously with the Sinclair, we're we're lim- limited to minutes, and we need to be careful and, and look after him. Um, Alfie Saunders came on as, as an enforced um, change with with Chamber going down so early, injured. Uh, and then Ryan Hall, I think, deserves um, his chance. And um, what a great game it is for him. You know, away at Maidenhead is a difficult game for a goalkeeper. Um, you know, they they put they, they test you in a range of ways, and he's and he'll be stronger for that experience today as well. Of course, of course, we look at the game as well. In the first half, you mentioned it. We came back two set pieces. Is that disappointing? Maybe today something to learn for next next time. Yeah, something to learn from right away. Something you know we pride ourselves on. We don't concede too many goals from from set plays, and um, we do we do work hard with that. And but like the delivery, and we just got a little bit out out muscled. But we had, we look we had a, a slight tweak of change of that in the, in the second half, and that served us well. I think we defended all set plays magnificently up to up to that one, which makes it all the more frustrating. But again, a big a big a big uh, learning curve for us all the time. We'll, we'll, we'll always keep learning. But what I'm most pleased about is the attitude and the application of the lads who who went who put their bodies and on the line on Saturday and would have gone really ex, you know gone through the energy levels on Saturday with with such a quick turnaround it was going to be difficult um, it's always a balance as a manager do you do you change it up completely and go fresh um, I said after the game it'd be hard to to take the shirt off a lot of players and um, they all wanted to go again so we we um, you know and we and we want to win we want to get as many points on board you know. <laughs> You can see what we're like on the out on the pitch, on the sidelines. We're doing everything we can to, to try and to try and get that win. We're contesting everything. We're contesting every decision with the referee. Like I was quite shocked with the the free kick at the end, where you know someone's just ran out on a dead ball and blocked it from about four yards away. I haven't, I haven't seen that since I think the World Cup when the Zaire defender done it. But uh, yeah, so. You know, we're, 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 we're not on the beach whatsoever. We want to win every game. We want to get better. We want to improve. We, you know, the job will never change for us. We've got to, you know, keep wanting more. And obviously Colin Daniel has come in in place for kids today and he's done well on his return. He's done fantastically well today because he's probably gone a little bit longer than we would have liked without football. With um, Obviously, he picked up an injury and then... Uh, then obviously Lewis Kinsella coming back um, has probably limited his minutes a little bit more than, than he would have liked and us as well. But um, you know he, t- he took his chance today. I thought he'd done really well in, d- in difficult circumstances and probably not quite having a game for a while. Um, I thought he equipped himself really well, showed his experience and showed his quality as well. I mean, he had a, a real big hand in, in the second goal and uh, competed airily and showed everything he needed to do um, as, as a defender. And also, you know, was a good attacking outlet for us as well. So no, I was really, I was really pleased with him. I suppose what was promising as well is at the end of the game, you know, we've got the two all draw. We're not setting on that. We're going to go and try and take the win. I think of Mo's light, late chance coming on. Obviously, he's come off the bench as well. So we were going for it despite the fact we're safely in the in the league now. Yeah, no, absolutely. We've got, we're trying, doing our best to win. I think I'm getting a bit demanding on the sideline to us to hurry up and for goal kicks and set plays. Come on, let's speed it up. We want to we want to win it. And um, we were doing our best too, like Mo Betamar agonisingly close. Tommy Willow, I'm still not sure how that one didn't, didn't go in. Um, but we've had a couple of calamity moments in the first half as well and, and one in the second half where they hit the woodwork twice. So, um, 
yeah, but I think with, with, like I said, such a tight turnaround, bodies are tired sometimes, you know, mistakes are made. Um, but what we didn't do is we didn't, we didn't fold, we didn't stop. We, we continued to work hard and, and push for that winner to the, to the dying end. Just been out on the fans today, under just under 500 fans of them here. It's great to see them turn out in numbers. Honestly, fantastic. They've done my team talk for me. Uh, I said, can you hear our fans out there? And and then you said, like, we were still going for a win. Absolutely. Pushed right on, driven right on. Um, so, no, like, thank them for coming out in their numbers and supporting them like the, the way, supporting the lads the way they did because um, they gave us that extra push and that extra energy. It's one to get the equaliser. But, you know, Maidenhead are a tough nut to crack here. Um, you know, I think, Nine out of their 12 wins is at home. Um, when they get ahead, it's a very difficult uh, place to get back in. And I thought we were, you know, come agonisingly close a few times to, to actually getting a winner. Another away trip on Saturday, a bit longer. Halifax away and a chance to us to get involved in the playoff, maybe have a, a say in that. Yeah, like, like Halifax, you know, I'm a big, big admirer of Peter Wilde and the job that he's done down there. I think everyone is. Um, you know, they're fighting for that third spot. And I think the way they've stayed the course consistently uh, up around with the big hitters, I think it's been a fantastic showing from them and, and what a fantastic side they are. So again, another big challenge, but this group enjoys challenges as, as we've seen this season. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Oh!